Welcome back to my channel. It's Larasia Andrea. So I decided to go to Meet the Barber Generals Club in New Jersey. And that is where Hair by Nani, Nani, the girl that has always been slaying all of my braided wigs on YouTube, that is where she works. So we decided to experiment and do something completely different. Neither of us have done this ever in our lives. But we decided to try something very different to ourselves and just very different on YouTube because it's really never really been done and we just wanted to see if we could really pull it off and grala we did honey okay so make sure you guys are following hair by nani and nani on instagram because she is the truth she does sew-ins quick weaves ponytails braids braided wigs all types of things so the first step that we did was go ahead and mold my hair down nani off camera did go ahead and use some black gel to mold my little short little do my little fro down and then we also went to use some um, liquid quick weave i'm going to be linking all the products that i use in the video or not used in the video down below the next step we're going to do is go ahead to doing the stocking cap method and this is something that nani has been doing she actually put meat onto it and she likes to use stockings not just any stockings but she uses sheer stockings to do the stocking cap method because it just literally melts into your skin as if it's literally it's it's invisible sis okay so she used some got to be spray to mold down the stocking cap and she did this on the front the sides and the back Next, she is moving on to using some got to be black gel in the black tube and she's just going to use this to just seamlessly blend in the edges of the stocking cap on the front sides and back yet again <laughs> Next, moving on to using some cream foundation. She just found a color that was like the closest to my skin tone. And she's just gonna use that to blend on my stocking cap to make it look a little bit more seamless, a little bit more of my complexion, you know what I'm saying? Um, and just make it look a lot more realistic. <laughs> So as far as the entire like lace glue method, she actually is doing the lace glue method that I did in my giveaway video where I introduced a lot of different steps. So she's using the bold hole protectant as a alcohol adhesive to take away any makeup or anything that I had on my hairline, even though I'm not wearing any makeup except for my brows and some mascara. But she did use the skin protecting from bold hold um, as a alcohol adhesive, I guess you can say. Then she moved on to using the bold hold liquid gold as a a skin protectant to have underneath the lace glue and then she's gonna move on to using the kiss lace glue to put over top of all of this and it makes the 
install just looks so seamless you guys as you guys saw in the video where i talked about all these products to do in my giveaway it's literally the same like the adhesive is just so much stickier when doing all of these steps and not only that the kiss lace glue you guys already know how i feel about it sis it is the bomb so make sure you guys go out and check it out go and get it from amazon get it from your nearest beauty supply store or what has it as far as the giveaway i will be putting the giveaway down below in the comment section so finally for the those that have been waiting I am announcing the giveaway winner today so make sure you guys look and check that out because you hopefully could be the winner sissy The next step we did was do the plucking of the frontals. It's a lot going on in this section of the video. So we are gonna be using two frontals and we're gonna be using hair from Chambray Hair, of course. We're using their Indian Curly and we used two frontals and that was about it. The frontals, I did see that they were medium brown lace. So I've had my fair share of medium brown laces, you know, in my time of working with hair. So I kind of at this point knew how to finesse the medium brown lace like on my skin tone so it wasn't really like that much of a worry for me so we went ahead and just plucked the front of the frontal the frontal that's going to be in the front of the hair and then we also did go ahead to pluck the back of the frontal Nani was the one that did the back I was the one that did the front the back of the frontal is going to be a little bit more advanced because you want to make sure that you are sectioning it off to match the shape of the back of your head not only that you want to make sure that you are cutting off the ends or should I say the back of the frontal because when you cut this part off of the frontals it just makes the frontals look so much more seamless when you go ahead to adhere them to your quick weave hey so many frontals going on but the frontal that's going on the back of the quick weave we just you know like I said cut off the sides but do not throw these sides away because we will be using these sides to do for the edges of our quick weave I know it sounds a little bit crazy right now but just make sure that you guys are saving the ends or the sides of the frontals. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead to apply the front frontal. We didn't cut this at all. I mean, of course she's going to make sure that she is molding it to the front of my head, but we already went ahead to do our lace glue method and all that. So she's just applying the front of frontal to the front of my head, and then she's going to blow jar that down with an elastic band. And then we're gonna move on to the back of the head and as well as the sides of the head. So now that we have the front of the frontal all on, we're gonna do the same steps with using the Bold Hold Skin Protectant, the Bold Hold Liquid Gold, as well as the Kiss Lace Glue, and just do the same lace adhesive or lace glue method on the back of my head, pretty much.
this is where it starts to get a little bit cray cray y'all so um like i said nani just went ahead to cut the back of the nape of my head from the frontal so all she's doing is just applying the back of the frontal to the back of my nape and then we're going to move on to applying the sides So like I said, I've had my fair share of go arounds using a medium brown lace. And one thing I can say is I do not like to use lace tint unless um, actual frontal adhered on my head because I don't know, I feel like I was like able or you're able to really be able to customize the frontal that way a little bit easier. So this medium brown lace y'all, like it was giving us such a hard time. Like I felt like the lace kept turning a little bit white sometimes. I I felt like it was turning a little bit gray like I just feel like medium brown lace is just so difficult sometimes to really you know finesse a little bit but we figured it out by the end of the video so if it's looking a little bit cray cray right now even though to me I feel like it looks good but you guys can see like some areas a little bit like gray some areas a little bit like white from the lace glue don't worry about that because by the end of the video girl it is slayed laid and you know just you know just bomb <laughs> So now we're moving on to the side of the quick weave. And again, we're gonna be using the same steps using the Bold Hold, the Bold Hair Liquid Gold, as well as the Kiss Lace Glue. And like I said, I told you guys, do not throw away the sides of the frontal when we cut off the back because we are going to be using those for the sides of the quick weave. Like even though we did go ahead and adhere down the back in the front of the frontals, we still needed that little piece to fill in the sides because if you don't, it's gonna be a complete hole so Nani is going ahead and putting some kiss lace glue down she lets that dry and then she does take that little piece of lace and fits that into that little section of hair but it's so worth it because it just makes it look so much more realistic at the end
you are seeing voila magic honey it is looking so good and just so realistic and like i said this is both of our first time doing this when i tell you guys we was in the shop for like nine hours nine hours we were in this shop trying to figure out how to do this exact type of method to show you guys to make it as simplistic and easy as possible but now because we've done it we already know what we're doing but it was so difficult you guys to figure out how to do this but i'm so happy we did because listen girl we have pretty much finessed and made a trend okay so now i just went ahead and used the medium brown lace tint from erica j and she is applying that to the front of the frontal because like i said i don't really like to use the lace glue on medium brown lace until the actual frontals are on the head because you're able to really be able to customize it to your exact skin tone a lot better so this is where we're looking this is how everything is looking so far like like i said by the end this is going to look seamless so the next step you're doing is just doing the baby hairs this is completely optional because some people don't like baby hairs some people do like baby hairs but i wanted to have baby hair so we did baby hair on the front as well as doing baby hair on the back of the frontal and nani did such a good job with the back of the frontal because i never thought to use a mini flat iron to flat iron out the hair before you do the baby hair but I'm definitely going to take that tip and start to do that with my frontals later on as well Okay, so now we are going to be using some bundles to fill in the middle of the head. So this is where it kind of gets a little bit crazy, you guys, because when I was watching back this footage, I was like, how in the world did she do this? Like, I was shocked watching this. So the first step we did was go ahead to use some spritz to spray all on this stocking cap, because in my opinion, from my experience with doing quick weaves, I feel like when you spray some spritz down or something that is like slightly sticky, it makes the glue last a lot longer on your quick weaves as well as stick a lot faster so Nani just went ahead and closed up the center of the stocking cap and she's going to actually put the bundles in a circular motion going in a circle so I automatically knew that I wanted to have this in a ponytail but if you guys wanted to more or less have this down and have it be a lot more versatile so where you was able to wear it in a ponytail or wear it down or anything of that nature you don't have to necessarily put it in a circular motion but I automatically knew that I wanted to have it in a high ponytail so that's why she did that and also she did double up the bundles when she did this part so I would have never thought to do this but the reason she did it is because she didn't want it to be super bulky and have too many tracks inside of the ponytail so I was like oh that is so smart so like I said she did go ahead and double up the tracks so that it wasn't a lot of tracks that was really on the center of the head so this is definitely a really good tip for you guys because I would have never thought to do this but I'm so happy that Nani did it and I, like I said I was shocked watching this on camera watching back the footage
This is also another step that I wanted to slow down for you guys because again, when I was washing this bag, I was like, oh my gosh, like it's so many good tips for me to be able to follow in future tense and also for you guys to follow as well because I would have never thought to do this. So Nani actually took little pieces of hair from each frontal from the sides and the back and she pulled little pieces up into the ponytail. And when she did the last track, closing up the ponytail part of the hair, she put the tracks on top of the hair that she pulled up. I know that sounds crazy, but it's a lot easier if you guys like visually watch it. When you pull all the hair up in a ponytail, you would have those little gaps. So it's actually very smart that she did pull all of those little pieces up because when you adhere the track onto the middle part of the hair, it makes the ponytail look so much more seamless. So shout out to Nani for that because I would have never thought to do that if I was doing this by myself. So this is why we are a dream team because I felt like we both were like really helping each other with this whole entire experience. I was giving my tips, she was giving her tips and we made it do what it do, baby, okay? So she's just using some skin protectant and she's just going ahead to blow dry the hair out as well as straighten the hair out. And y'all like, I was so shocked. Like even when she was doing this, I was like, this looks like my hair. Like this looks like my hair as if my hair was blown out and straightened. You guys have seen my natural hair on my channel so many times, especially when my hair was like super long. And this is exactly how my hair looked. It looked so natural, you guys. And also, I feel like it's so good to do a technique like this because when making your own 360 lace, whether it's a quick weave or a sew-in, you obviously can be able to do a sew-in, but my hair is so short, so we didn't have a choice but to do a quick weave. But I feel like doing this type of method makes it so much more customizable for anyone's head shape because in my opinion, wearing a full lace wig it's a give or take. Sometimes it's really good, sometimes it's really bad because sometimes 360 wigs can be too big for your head. So I have a 21 inch circumference head. So if I do not have a customized 360 wig, it will not fit my head. So to my opinion, I feel like creating your own 360 is so much more beneficial for you because you're just able to really just make sure that it's like nice and snug and secure on your head. I definitely recommend this for anyone that wants to have a 360 lace, but either you can't find a wig, only have two frontals and some tracks, you can literally create your own experience just from using products that you already have in your home. It's crazy. So the last step that Nani's doing is just going ahead to using a hot comb. Um, using a hot comb on your frontals is like the best thing ever because it makes it so much more flatter. She also does use a wax stick to make it look a lot more seamless and flatter on my head. And then she just ends up putting it in a ponytail and then putting it in a bun. So that's pretty much it with this entire tutorial, you guys. All she's doing right now is just creating the entire ponytail. And I'm going to come back when everything is pretty much done to close out this video.
this is the last step of the entire process and Nani is just using some makeup to apply over top of the lace because like I said some areas were a little bit still white some areas were still a little bit gray like I said if we had like a transparent frontal to do this I feel like it would have came out so much better but nevertheless it did come out so bomb um like I said for this to be our first time doing something like this I think me and Nani freaking killed it like I came to her with an idea I told her this is what I had in my mind and I wanted her to help me ex execute it and we killed it you guys I just think that this is the smartest thing you could ever possibly do for a 360 lace you are literally customizing your lace to fit your head nice and snug you don't have to do it quickly like me but my hair is short so if you guys want to do this entire method but do it like a sew-in version oh my gosh like we're creating the game creating the game creating the trend like it is bomb so thank you guys so much for watching i want to just say thank you so much to nani because listen if it wasn't for her this would have never even happened so this is the ending result i feel like it came out so bomb let me know in the comment section how you guys feel about this as well because this is this is crazy i couldn't even believe that we really freaking did this <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching can't wait to see you guys in my next one and and bye guys.